This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Shaiju Matthew and Revive Nations. When they now went to spy the land, they were not functioning in their own capacity. They were functioning like Papa Abraham. Because it was Papa Abraham's instruction that said, go and walk through the land, length and breadth, and go see it. And yet, half of them came and said, oh, not possible. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, they're going to eat us. Oh, they're too big. Oh, they're giants. But two of them came and said, give me this man. Hi kids, I'm Super K and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Joshua, don't be afraid. Look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a white boat. Oh man, All you need is water, some food coloring, and Bread some bleach. Not. No, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Grace to make wealth. Grace to make wealth. To locate where the wealth was. And then to create it. So what did God offer Abraham? Go to Genesis chapter 13, please. Genesis 13. Go to verse 14. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that Lot was separated from him, lift up now thy eyes. After eye. Lot was separated from him. Okay. That's another important thing. Certain wealth will not come until you're separated from certain people that are just... like leeches. They're just there to just suck the blood out. So God waits for certain people that are not supposed to be part of the journey because a call came for Abraham. The Lord pulled around. But Lord didn't really get the call. He was not following Abraham because he had a call. He was just following because, hey, my nephew is having adventure I want to follow. That's not how it works. You have to receive the call that the man has received. And God waits for people that are not supposed to be part of the journey to leave. So when Lot leaves, something happens. Okay, go on. Oh, wow. So after that, Lot was separated from him. Mm -hmm. He said, lift up now thine eyes. Separated. Ah, I like that word, separated. Okay. And God says, lift up. Lift up now thine eyes. Oh, so certain things you don't see in certain people's company. <laughs> God has to wait for them to exit your environment before he can show you more things. So some of the reason why certain information has never come to you, certain revelations never came to you, certain theology never came to you because you were in the wrong company. Company does everything to thrash that teaching that you received that was supposed to bring a blessing to you. How can that fellowship bring you a promotion? How can that, as long as that company is with you, mm -hmm. God will not open your eyes. So you can pray as much as you want. You can say, God, help me. But God says, I want to help you. I want to make you see. But in order to see, you have to leave that company. Some people are divided. Is he saying what is right or is them what they are saying is right? You won't know. As long as you are in their company, you won't even have the grace to see that what somebody is saying is right or wrong. Wow. Until you separate yourself from them, God cannot take you into your new chapter. You won't even have the grace to ah. see. So, so imagine, many people will end up 
having a wrong understanding about God as long as they have wrong friends that speak to them monday to saturday and they come and they say sunday i'm not understanding i'm not i'm confused i'm confused your confusion comes because of the fellowship that you have sustained and god doesn't care about opening your eyes wow because god is saying you you want your eyes to open you have to be separated from them get out of that company that is taking you away from the wealth you are supposed to go to and this is probably the hardest thing for people to do because we are all social beings it also oh, but i know him from childhood i he was he was there with me from college days as long as you feel obliged to them you are also now destined with them so to where god wants to take you you have to come out be separated be separated but 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 bas i want to really help them i want to you really want to help them you don't help them to go to by going where they are you separate yourself you allow god to elevate you and then now you help them okay this is the way to do it you really want to help them you you don't help them by being part of the company you want to help them you f- pursue your destiny let god lift you up let god elevate you let god establish you like joseph made him the prime minister of egypt until then they mocked him they made fun of him keep quiet let god elevate you let god promote you from that place of promotion now you're ready for association now you're ready to help them but if you both are sailing in the same boat you're not ready to help them that is not the place where you are helpful to them. you really care for them you really want to help them let them go now establish yourself grow financially become independent financially be blessed of the lord get your focus right get your family right get your marriage right get everything established now you are in a better place to help your family now when you speak they will not argue because right now if you try to help them they're going to argue and eat your head off you are not in a place to help them you want to help them establish yourself first keep quiet shh keep quiet don't tell them your idea oh i have a vision i have a strategy i have a business idea they're going to shoot it down establish yourself first study these revelations get to work go deep into it build your altars connect with the lord make covenants with god establish yourself then you can bless your cousin your family your, your friends from your school high school then they live in respect because they see that you know what you're talking are you understanding yes. ah people are not nice to people who are have a lot of compassion those are the door mats that they use in fact they like you because they are accessible they, anyway I'll... <laughs> let's go on okay lift up thine eyes and look from the place where thou art north so when lot leaves abraham god is looking and said now is not the time for you to be depressed now is not the time for you to be down in fact it's the opposite now is the time for you to lift up your eyes now is the time for you to be excited because now your vision is going to be more clear before you couldn't see it now the burdens that has been pulling you back the weights of the world that has been clinging to you is gone now you'll be able to see clear so lift up your eyes okay and look from the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward for all the land which thou seest to thee i will give it and thy seed forever Oof. all the land that you that you see i will give it and to thy seed forever go on and i will make thy seed as the dust of the earth so that if a man can number the dust of the earth then shall thy seed also be numbered 
Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. That's a loaded scripture. God is now saying, from the river of Egypt to the river of Euphrates, I'm going to give that to you. I believe it's it's is in chapter 15 is when God talks to Abraham and gives him the uh, chapter 15 was 18, please. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham. Aha, uh-huh. covenant, covenant, covenant. Wealth is a covenant. Wealth is a covenant. Wealth is a covenant. Covenant. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, child of God, this is a covenant that can be established with you. Go on. Saying unto thy seed, mm-hmm. have I given this land mm-hmm. from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. That's that's where it is. Okay, and then? The Kenites and the Kenizzites and the Kadmonites ah. and the Hittites and the Perizzites <laughs> and the Euphrates and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Girgashites and the Jebusites. All the parasites. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please, child of God, don't don't take this as information. This is revelation coming into your spirit. I'm trying to I'm trying to break the the rubber band that has just been pulling you back into how your parents functioned. Today, I'm trying to break that and giving you a new instruction into your spirit giving you a new direction into your spirit. Now on you will function in this spiritual DNA. The spiritual instruction into your spirit. That's what I'm trying to try to do. So so please, don't lose me now. Don't lose me now. A little more. Give me a little more time. So, what is the Lord speaking to Abraham? When Lot leaves him. He appears to Abraham and he says what? He says, get out and look as far as you can to the north, south, east and west. He said, what your eyes are seeing, I'm going to give to you. Very critical for us to understand that. You can only receive what you're able to see. You're only able to receive what you're able to see. This is the reason why I told you this season is so important. The word that is coming to you is so important because the word is causing you to see. Pastors, you have to understand this. This is a very serious moment where God is looking at Abraham. And he wants to release a blessing. And the manner in which he is releasing a blessing is by saying, I need you, I need you to get out I need you to see as farther as you can see. In fact, the one line that says, I need you to walk in all directions. Yes. Chapter 13, maybe verse 15 or 16, it says, walk in all directions. In verse 17, arise, walk through the land in the length of it and the breadth of it. Walk in the length of it and the breadth of it. And I want your eyes to receive something. I want your eyes to feed your mind and information. I want you to receive it. I want you length and breadth because what you are able to see is what is going to not just be yours. It's going to be yours and your children's and your children's children's. So, so could it be possible 
that the reason why wealth has not become part of us is because we've never seen the gold. Yet the gold is hidden. Yet you have to come to that location and say, here's where the gold is. There's something in this river. Are you able to see the treasure in the river? Are you able to see for you and your house? Are you able to see an impression from the Lord? And God would tell Abraham, Abraham, come out of the tent and look up and see the stars. See the tents. Watch this. Why, Lord? Can you not just say, I'm going to bless you? No, 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 Abraham. It's not enough that you hear a blessing. Okay? I need you to see it. I need you to see it. There's a part where in Genesis 15 it says that God counted it as righteousness for Abraham. It moves me. The way God would see Abraham's faith. That he comes out, visually sees the location. He sees the stars. Do you find? Yes. Prophet, it's in chapter 15, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And he believed in the Lord uh -huh. and he counted it to him for righteousness. God says, I'm going to count this as righteousness. So there are certain blessings cannot come to you. Even though God is saying, I want to bless you with it. It cannot come to you until you are able to visually see it. Now, your spirit is receiving information. Your spirit is receiving what? Information. Some of us, we've just become very comfortable with where we are in life. We are not able to visualize greatness. So God is saying, I want you to walk length and breadth. I want you to expand your spirit map. Go as, as much as you can see. As much, if you can see it, I'm going to make it come, come to pass to you. So, 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 so the, 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 the guys that you were talking about with the automobiles. At some point, when I got Somebody had to see the iron ore and then had to visually see that something else could come out of it. And then now, this God is allowing them to have it even though they were not believers. <laughs> because they are activating a principle that many Christians are not activating it. I, I'll say that again because it's painful. <laughs> we need some good, good, good pain to wake us up. God has to now bless Gentiles because they are now functioning like Abraham. He's saying you have to walk the length and breadth and see it, right? Yes. What does Joshua do? He comes and tells the people, God is telling me that we need to send spies. And what does the spies do? They come back, they see it and they're freaking out. Except for Caleb and Joshua because they had a different spirit. That means they were being guided by the spirit of their forefathers to function differently because when they now went to spy the land, they were not functioning in their own capacity. They were functioning like Papa Abraham. Because it was Papa Abraham's instruction that said, go and walk through the land, length and breadth, and go see it. And yet, half of them came and said, oh, not possible. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, they're going to eat us. Oh, they're too big. Oh, they're giants. But two of them came and said, give me this mountain. So this week, I'm giving you an assignment. Where are you going to go? What business are you going to have? What image do you have? Have you explored this business? Walk through that business. 
if it is a software business pick your car drive down to the silicon valley of of your city go through it look at the huge buildings and begin to imagine you owning one of those bi- those buildings if you believe in god for restaurants go to the most expensive restaurant in the city look it up go into it take some money eat some food look at the waiters there look at the 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 interior designs there look at how beautiful their washrooms are look at if possible look into the kitchen get an imagination into your mind into your heart into your spirit if god is calling you for real estate go look at houses zones and begin to imagine length and breadth walk through it and said this is mine God tells Joshua the soul of your feet which which touches is going to be yours yeah mena god if your soul doesn't touch it won't be yours you know what the problem is all of you are listening to me some of you not everybody some of them think you know it's 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 the man of god has to come lay hands and say receive this breakthrough and the breakthrough will come no I want your soul of your feet to come in contact with the promise. You I release you today to break out of every generational limits that Satan has played over your life. Everything that Satan has kept about you and your house and your family and your children in the mighty name of Jesus today it is breaking amen so i talked about it to, uh, a few weeks ago i think uh, if you go on the app uh, the title of the sermon is the synergy please this week i want you to listen to it this week how wrong company can can take away the faith but there is a divine synergy that is available for a child of god that is going to cause you to conquer things so i want to be that individual coming in with you in partnership amen yeah 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 look the partnership that you can get from your spiritual leaders is not financial help partnership you can get is a spiritual blessing if your man of god ever comes to you and says hey can i partner with you with some finance you have to tell him no 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 what i need is you to speak a blessing over me what did malki said they can chapter 13 of genesis he says he blesses abraham and he says by the lord who is the possessor of heaven and possessor of heaven and earth so there is a blessing that abraham is receiving from melchizedek and it is from the lord who is the who is the owner of heaven and earth it's your prophet in genesis 14 verse 19 ah okay and he blessed him and said blessed be abram of the most high god possessor of heaven and earth okay so the blessing that he received from melchizedek was greater than the money he could have received from us so if you ask people today hey they want some money they'll they'll all go for the money but a spiritual intelligent person will say no it's not the money that i need it's a blessing from the god of the possessor of heaven and earth if you received a blessing from the god who is the possessor of heaven and earth now you will have to start possessing things on earth there is a grace to possess things hello welcome back we thank god for such a powerful word you know the bible says that all things will fade away but his word will remain 
When you have the word in your heart, you will be able to stand through any fire and any storm that comes your way. So I'm believing and praying that you'll come back with a testimony. You're much loved. If you're blessed, would you partner with us and take this word to the nations? Please visit revivenations.org slash give. Also take a minute to connect with us on our social media platforms and we would love to hear from you. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much He loved us, He gave up His only begotten Son. The proof of our love is seen by what we lay down at the feet of Jesus. No, God will not coexist with us in compromise. He is not looking for part-time Christians, nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because He gave us everything. Hi kids, I'm Super K and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Joshua, don't be afraid. Look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a wet boat. Look at all this shit. All you need is water, some food coloring, and Bread. some bleach. No, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. Thank you for being part of this end time Jesus journey. Your partnership with Revive Nations allows us to reach nations with passionate, prophetic and powerful word from the Lord. If you have been blessed, would you consider giving to this ministry by visiting revivenations.tv. Enjoy hundreds of resources in multiple languages from Prophet Shaiju and Tinny Matthew while visiting revivenations.org. Connect with us on your favorite social media. Distance is not a barrier to God. Revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 